Hello. So I am going to talk about EME in WebKit with the streamer about some quick status and challenges. So I'm I'm Calvaris. I I'm a WebKit committer and, and reviewer and also a streamer contributor. I, I work at Igalia. Um, so first, I'm going to say about uh, a bit about encrypted media extensions. So encrypted media extensions is a W3C standard that brings DRM to the web. What the W3C specifies is clear key, which is kind of a toy uh, implementation of encryption. And um, this is what we support upstream. And in WP downstream, we have some implementation for play ready and, and wide mind. Upstreaming, upstreaming those is not, it's not trivial, legally speaking, so, you know. Uh, and it works, our implementation works with bo both with media source and, and regular playback. So first things, the, uh, the first thing uh, when, when you need to face encryption is uh, the demaxers. So the demaxers need to be, need to be aware of encryption. Uh, nowadays, QDMAX is quite stable for, for MP4 and Matroska Dimas just the support for, for Matroska Dimas just landed for, for WebM. So what you get is that uh, the demaxer uh, parses the protection information and uh, send, e send, sends you events with the initialization data. Then it tries to configure the encrypted caps and for that, it selects a key system according to the available decryptors that you have in, in your system, and then playbeam does, does the rest. But here, uh, I wanted to explain a bit, this is the, the uh, specification of, of EME, of the WCC. So here you have the, whoa. This, this time doesn't count, eh? Okay. <laughs> So here you have the media stack. Here you uh, uh, here is where we would have GStreamer. So you have the, the data coming in from the from the network, and then you fire when you detect the encryption. You fire the encrypted events, and there's a request coming from the JavaScript application to request the uh, the access to the to the system. Then some some messages come from the application down to the content decryption module, and then the session is established, and then you can decrypt. Here, uh, here comes our first problem. Because just, I, I just said that the, 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 the maxers select the, the, the decryptors and, and then establish the, the protection caps. But here in the W3C specification, we say that we need to send the, the, encrypt, the encrypted event and then it is the JavaScript application that selects which system we are going to use. So it's not up to the decryptor to, to do that. So we need to let the decrypt, uh, we need to let um, the demaxers, there is a decryptors, but it's the demaxers, uh, to select, uh, we need to let them to select the, um, the, preferred, uh, the preferred system. So QDMAX runs a, a query for the preferred system that you, that you want. Uh, Matroska DMAX so far, I think it does nothing. Uh, and that need, needs to be answered synchronously because that's something that happens in a, in a, in a function. Uh, one of the solutions that we found is that we have a single decryptor for every, uh, for every key system that you can have or that you can decrypt that works, but sometimes you get the wrong caps. For example, you, get, you can get the caps for play ready or whatever, but you are actually uh, um, uh, decrypting with uh, white line, for example. So some room for improvement is that, uh, um, well, everything depends on the DMAX now and there's no common API for this now. Um, something, some other thing that, uh, that we found uh, is that this is the, the API for the GST protection event. And um, there you can see the system ID. A system ID is not nullable in this, in this API, but WebM doesn't report any key system. So now we face that the API cannot be changed. Uh, so in the end, w what happened is that a defined was created that is, to, is used to report undefined systems. And for the future, upstream, 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 we want to upstream everything that we can. As I said, it's not, uh, it's not uh, yeah, I, 28 seconds. Um, it's not legally trivial. Uh, we would also like to, improve the, the crypto's architecture to support this, this kind of things that you have on embedded devices, like is you have one element that's the code of the crypto and sync. Uh, so maybe we could create kind of a base class for that. Um, that's it.
Just allow me, just allow me 30 seconds. <laughs>